Welcome to ProTipsForYou.com. I'm Jason White. I played at the University of Oklahoma from 1999 to 2004. I was part of uh, three national championship games. I also spent a brief time with the Tennessee Titans in 2005. My pro tip for you today is the bucket drill. A bucket drill is an extremely important drill that everyone can work on. You work on it at home, you can work on it at, at practice, you can do it by yourself. All it takes is one ball or a bunch of balls and a bucket. A trash can, um, a taller trash can is the best way to go. But what the bucket drill teaches you is on the deep routes, you never, hardly ever do you throw a deep route where it's got a lot of speed on it or a lot of zip to get to the receiver. So for a receiver to catch the ball coming in like this, it's tougher than for him to catch the ball dropping in over his shoulder like this. So what this drill teaches you is you have to put air under the ball. If the ball's coming in straight like this, there's no way it's going to go in the bucket. But if the ball's coming in like this and it has some loft and some air under it, it can go in the bucket. So this, this is really important. As you notice here, I have it in the back of the corner of the end zone, which would be like a fade route. You can do it anywhere on the field. Um, you know, a lot of times when you have fade routes and you use the sideline in the back of the end zone for, you know, you know, to help you rather than help the defender, you know, you want to put air on the ball. So this drill here teaches you to put that air on the ball and to become a better deep ball thrower. So what we're going to do is we're at the 15 yard line. Okay. We're going to take a three step drop and throw. We're going to do three and throw, not three and hitch and throw. So we're going to take one, two, three. We're going to continue to work on our three-step drop. Now just because we're doing the bucket drill doesn't mean that you just start throwing it at the bucket. Make sure you keep your mechanics the same all the time. If you're working on this drill or any other drill, you know, take, you know, work on that three-step drop. Keep that forehead frontal, keep that shoulder open. If I don't have my shoulder open here, there's no way I'm throwing in the bucket. So keep that shoulder open and work on that three-step drop. So what we're going to do is we're going to take three steps and we're going to throw we have to put air under the ball to get it in the bucket, so we'll try it here. See, that ball right there probably would not have went in the bucket. It wasn't, didn't have enough air on it. So you have to really work on getting the ball with air. So we'll try it again. Make sure we keep that three-step drop the same. We keep that forehead front of the shoulder open. That ball was off the mark too. So you really got to work, you know, on getting that ball up in the air. Those two balls I just threw were still kind of didn't have enough air on them. So really work. And once you hit that bucket and it starts going in, and you can hit, you know, four or five out of fifty, then you know you're doing something right. And this can you know, you can take this back to a regular game-like situation. If we're, you know, on the 15-yard line and, you know, it's third and 10 and we got a fade route to the corner, a lot of times that's going to be the perfect shot for that, that throw. So, I mean, you can imagine that, you know, in a game-like situation. But remember to always keep your drop the same. You know, don't just stand here and throw to the bucket. You know, take your drop and throw to the bucket. You can even take a, you know, if you're closer in, you can take a one step drop, just a one step and throw. You know, that'd be a, you know, closer to the end zone type, type throw, but you wanna, you know, make sure you throw it into the bucket, keep a lot of air on it, and that's gonna help in that, the regular passing, you know, the, the, the touch routes, the, the fade routes, anything like that, that'll keep, you know, that'll keep you, you know, on target, so. That's the bucket drill. I'm Jason White, and that's my pro tip for you.